Good day, everyone. This is Mr. Orvin, your IT teacher. And uh, this is a PowerPoint lecture uh, for your IC3 module B. So kindly please check the uh, exercise PDF file that I sent you for PowerPoint. So I'm going to share my screen for now. Okay. So this is our PowerPoint uh, PDF file, our exercise for PowerPoint. So as you can see, these are instructions. So you do not have to type the instructions. All you have to do is to follow that, and we will go in. We will, the, the result is not the same as what you can see because even though I made it through PowerPoint, uh, using PowerPoint. So I have some instructions here. So this is not the same uh, result or the output. Okay, once you do all your all these instructions. So let's just browse. So you have eight pages of instructions. So let's start with number one. Instructions, write the title and the subtitle of the presentation. So this is your title and the subtitle. We're going to write it down, but first we have to open a PowerPoint. Of course, this is our exercise for PowerPoint. So when you open PowerPoint, okay, you're going to have to click blank presentation. Remember in Microsoft Word, it's document. And in... Um, in Excel, it's workbook, and in PowerPoint, it's called presentation. Okay, uh, in um, Microsoft Word, it's pages. In PowerPoint, it's going to be slides. In Excel, it's worksheets. Okay, I have uh, to remind you, uh, you go to Moodle for the correct file name format. Remember, I'm asking you to follow instructions, and my instructions are clear. I'm very strict on the file name format, and you have to also. You have to uh, you have to know how to follow instructions. So, so what are we going to do first? Is number one, write the title and the subtitle of the presentation. This is the title. This is the subtitle. So we have to write it first. MS PowerPoint exercise. Okay, and then subtitle by, it's gonna be your name. I'm just typing my name as an example. And next to that is your student ID number. I'm just typing my student ID number, okay, as an example again. Okay, so let's proceed to number two. Number two, you choose the design theme, facet, and apply it. So design, it's gonna be on the design tab and choose the themes, click here, look for facet. So the facet is the second one, and that's it. Okay, we go to number, um, okay, before I proceed, you can see that after I made something or I will add an object or a picture or something, he will give you a design idea. So you can choose the design idea, but for now, I have a set of instructions, so you do not have to follow this. So this is the new feature of PowerPoint. Okay, so let's proceed. Number two, uh, number three. I'm going to read three and four and do three and four because they are in related to each other or they are in the same, you know, uh, path. Choose the font theme, Kandara, and choose the color scheme, blue warm. Okay, so we go back to PowerPoint. Same in design tab. Uh, you're gonna go for variants. First is the font. Okay, so you click the font. Oh no, even even just mouse over, you can see the choices. And we're just going to select Kandara. Okay, now colors. Look for blue arm. Okay, of course you have a lot of choices here. So just click blue one. That's my instruction. And this is where we are right now. This is where we are. Okay? 
That's how easy those instructions are. So let's proceed. Number five is insert a slide number on all slides, including the title slide. Uh, but I'm going also to include the footer because again, it's in the same area. Okay. Insert a footer, German University of Technology in Oman. So I think you can see that from the example. Okay. But it's not the same, again, design, except that it's just the same concept. Insert a slide number on all slides, including the title slide. So you have to remember, including the title slide. Same here, footer, including the title slide. Okay. So let's uh, go to insert and then footer. So where are you going to find again the header and footer? Of course, in the insert tab. Same with Word and Excel. So header and footer. Now you're going to have a slide here. So in the slide, uh, of course, slide number will be here and the footer. You have to type German University of Technology in Oman. That's the complete name of our university. Do not forget that. This will be if you intend to be here until you graduate, you should never forget where you graduated. Okay, you cannot just say, I graduated in German University. Okay, that's not complete. It must be German University of technology in Oman. Okay, so that's what you're going to tell others. Okay, you can see that I click slide and footer. You can also include the date, include the date and time. But this is the one that we have to uh, to focus on. Do, do, do not show on title slide. So that means if I click this title slide will not have the slide number and the footer. But we said in our instruction, show it on the title slide. So that that's why we do not have to check this. We do not have to check this. OK, so please remember that I will apply it to all so that every time I add some more slides here, it will have the footer and the slide number. OK, I think we're done with until number six. OK, let's proceed to number seven. Using the slide master, add the Geotech logo so that it will be shown from slide two onwards. So slide two onwards. OK, so remember that. Uh, let's try to add a new slide. So you can see when you are in the home in insert, you can see a new slide here, but most likely you're going to be in the home tab new slide will be here also. And a shortcut for a uh, new slide is control M as in mother control M. OK, by default. He will copy whatever the previous slide is when you press control M, but in the case that we are in the title slide, it would it will give you a title and content layout. OK. So it's a title and content layout, huh? one title and then what's the content. OK, so I'm just adding this so that to demonstrate to you our next procedure using the slide master, add the geotech logo so that it will be shown from slide two onwards. So we need to show that geotech logo uh, here in slide number two, wherever you want to put it, OK, and not here. So it should start from here until there, but using the slide master. And what is a slide master and how to access that? The slide master, when you go to view tab, okay, you go to presentation views. No, the master views and click the slide master. Okay, what is this? You go up, you can see here very clearly. This is your slide master. I will uh, mouse over facet slide master. This is the title slide layout, title and content layout, header layout, section header, header layout, to content layout, and so on and so forth. Okay, so, but this is where we do templates. This is the slide master, meaning you can save this, this template so that you can use that later on, whatever you did 
or you change. And also you can input a picture here, or sorry, insert a picture here, wherein when you go back to the normal view, you cannot delete or you cannot remove or edit, okay, whatever is that. It's already formatted here, and that's what we're going, going to use uh, as a template. Or when you add a layout, it will not be, it will be automatically there. Okay, now uh, we go to the procedure. So the procedure is using the slide master. We are now in the slide master. Uh, add the geotech logo so that it is shown from slide two onwards. Now we have to find a geotech logo. So you go to uh, a web browser and go for a search. Okay, I will search for a geotech logo image. Okay, I will go to images. Okay, Google Images. And I will check this. I will, uh, yeah, download this, click this, and I'll explain. You can see the Geotech, Geotech logo, and as you can see also, the at the back of those letters or text, uh, we have the checkered white and black. So it's a PNG, meaning uh, the background most likely is invisible, okay, or transparent. So I'm going to download this on my desktop. So it's up to you where do you want to download this, whatever location you want to download this. Okay, and while I'm on Slide Master, okay, you can see here, uh, this is the Slide Master. I'm going to go to the Insert tab, okay, and I'm going to insert a picture. I'm going to look for that logo where when uh, that I downloaded and I'm going to insert that okay so this is your logo as you can see there's no white box although this is a box you can see that okay even on top of this okay I can clearly see uh, what's ever at the back of this image so you can see also this there's no white color Okay, this is why we chose that image. Okay, another idea here is that when you copy it to the slide master, you can see here that the title slide does not have it, but the rest. Okay, I repeat, when you copy it to the slide master, be careful, you have to copy it on the slide master, or you have to insert it on the slide master, and uh, you can see that the rest the rest of the layout, it has that logo. Okay? But the title slide doesn't have it. So, Mr. Orban, what if I want that image on the title slide? Then you have to copy it. And go to the title slide and paste it by yourself. Okay? But if you can see, if I change this, it's not the same as the others. Okay? So because you made the slide master here, it will the, the rest of the layout will follow the slide master. Excluding, not including this, uh, the title, okay, the title layout or the title slide. Okay, so again, our instruction said, says that, so it will be shown from slide to onward. So that means it does not include the title slide. So I will remove this. Okay, and now I'm going back to the slide master and position this to the best of my ability. Uh, I want to, I don't like this because here, although it should be somewhere in this layout because it's no, nothing, but my color will not be uh, appropriate. So I will probably put it here. Okay, so I'll just make it a little smaller. Okay, so I think that's it. I think even if I type something on the title, it will not uh, affect our logo. So if that it does, if you want to change, you go back to this slide master. Now I'm fine, you can see again the other layout. If I click this, 
they have the same position except the slide mask, uh, the title layout or the title slide. So I'm going to close the master view. So I will go now to the normal view. Okay, and that's it. You can see this title slide does not have anything and you can see our title and content. It has the logo, but can I select the logo here? Because I am in the normal view, I cannot. Okay, the, the only way that I can edit this logo is I will go if I'll go to the slide master. Okay, so let's proceed. So I'm finished with this. I'll go to the second. We're in, I should have the footer with the slide number. Okay, so that, that's it. And then we're going to use this instruction. Use the smart art vertical box list to make this slide. So I'm going to type first this title University of Technology. Okay, so it's just a title. So I'm not uh, writing the whole name of our university. But here now is where you're going to insert what's the instruction vertical backslash from smart art. So you can see there are already a uh, shortcut on how to insert. So we have table, chart, smart art, 3D models, picture, online picture, video, and an icon. So you can go and click here if you don't want to go to the insert tab. In the insert tab, everything is also here. All the things. Those are the just uh, just the most used, okay? But if you have some more to insert, it's, it's also here. Okay, so I'm going to insert a smart art. So it's gonna be here. And it says there, vertical box list. Where is the vertical box list? So there are categories of your smart art. So you can have this, uh, but choosing all is already here. The vertical box list is on a list category. And when you choose all, everything will be here. List, process, so you can see. Next, cycle, okay. So I will just choose this. This is a vertical box list in the all. If I choose list also here, it's there. Okay, press OK. Okay, now by default, you can see here a box, and I'll go back to that later. You can type now the information from the PDF Foundation Program, Bachelor of Science Program. Bachelor of Engineering program. And that's the thing, why do we have this? Because we, I, I only have three by default from that list or vertical boxes or a smart art. Uh, I have to click this arrow. When I click this arrow, you go to the last line of the bullet and press enter. Okay, when you press enter, it will add another bullet, and now you can see the box, okay, that has been added. So I'm going to write the fourth one, Master of Science Program. It's true for all uh, these smart arts. If there are, you know, you want to add, you just click the box, and it automatically, he will, uh, okay, let me make this British. Because that's, I think, what's in there. Yes. Okay, then just close this and now you're done. Okay, that's slide number two. Next slide or next instruction. Instructions insert a two content slide. So now we're going to have a new layout. Before it's just a normal title and content and insert an online picture of the slide using the office clip art as keyword, okay? So here we're going to type everything 
Okay, this is a two content. This is the title. Okay, how are you going to do that? Again, as I told you before, if you click new slide, automatically it will copy whatever is in the previews or whatever layout was the previews. So if you click new slide and then choose whatever layout you want, okay, to content. Or accidentally, for example, you use control M and you are already here, you can change the layout from here, okay, to content. Okay, in any case, you figure out what's the easiest way on how you will do this. Again, as you can see, the, day, uh, the logo is still here and that's what we want, okay, from slide two onwards. Let's proceed, admin and services. Slide, uh, enumerate all the admin department in Jirita. So you have to type all of this. It's also going to help you uh, be familiar with the different uh, department in our university. Okay. Library and information systems. Then last list and then I made the student affairs with the RSA registration and student admission. Okay, opposite. I made it first and this the last so that you will not be confused. Again, uh, before I continue, the first is registry and student admission. If it, uh, we talk about your student information, your data, uh, your registration, your schedule, your timetable, um, it is actually related to registration and student admission, your sponsorship, MOHE, Ministry of Higher Education, or HEAC. Uh, so all these things, all your records, your grades, your attendance, it's all related here. Okay, with the registration and student admission. Yours truly, Mr. Orvin, is uh, a little bit part of this because I'm coordinating for the foundation department to them. Okay, so we are connected. But if you talk about student affairs, if you want to ask something to the student affairs, if you need some services, it's the guidance counseling, uh, student clubs, student activities, um, what else? Um, uh, student activities, student council. So those are all about student affairs. That's why we call it. So you have to be careful on who are you going to write. So for example, you need something, of course, you, uh, you need something regarding uh, anything, advice, for example. There are two things. If it is personal advice or uh, I tell your teacher, you can go to the student affairs. 
but if it is advice regarding your um, progression okay or progress to the university going from foundation to bachelor uh, regarding your major regarding your sponsorship you go to the registration and student admission okay so let's proceed okay that these are the different admin and services department and then next year we were asked to insert an online picture on the slide using the office clip art as keyword so i'm going to use this online pictures insert Okay, I'm going to type office clip art. So I'm going to type the clip art word so that I want it to be a little bit or oh, to be like a cartoon or a drawn image, not a live image. And I'm going to press enter. Okay, so this clip uh filter it a little bit i don't want a very big um, image i want like a medium okay so let's see you can choose any picture by the way uh you do not have to look for this picture you can choose any picture so i think i'll choose this Oh, I have this photo by unknown is licensed under CCBYNC. So I'm it's unknown, so nobody owns this. But I'll delete this. I think we can download. Okay, so I'll just make this a little bit bigger. You can see also there are guidelines. So I'm okay with this already, this size. Okay, so I think we're done with this slide. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, insert a two content slide, insert a smart art gear in the slide and apply an intense effect smart art slide to it, style to it. Okay, so I'm going to just make it two content and make this. I'll just go to new slide and to content and system so in the previous slide all the administration department but now we are talking about academics <coughs> excuse me uh, this is a two content so I'm going to buy it. bachelor program so we are we have to we have bachelor of science and bachelor of engineering but we will generalize them and master of science program programs plural more than one okay this is a little bit small so i'm going to increase their font size Okay, I'm satisfied with this. Now the next is to insert a smart art gear. So I'm just going to use this because it's already a shortcut. And we, when you say gear, we have to find it from here. Okay, now I can see it. Okay, so it's in the process. I think it's a process. Yeah, it's it's in the process uh, group or category. So here I can find the gear. Press OK. Okay, so we have three texts here. I think I'm not sure if I'm going to use this. I'll just use this one. So anyway, they are the same. So let me see if I can just copy this. We'll see, go here. Oops. I think it's better. So I copied the bullet, I delete everything from here from this box and I just paste it. Okay, so this is how it looks like. But we have to change this to Okay, apply an intense effect smart art style to it. 
So while selecting this, we insert a, an object, a picture, a smart art. You can see that there are additional tabs, design and format. When you go to the design, you can see that you can choose any effects from here. Smart art styles. So let's choose. It's we said only intense effect. Yeah, I think this is the intense effect. OK, so just apply whatever is being asked of you. Anyway, uh, again, as I told you from the beginning, this is not from the PDF file that you can see. This is not how it will look like after you finish everything. OK, we're now down to slide number five, which is a table. Create a table below. So I think this is just a simple title and content. Let's count the number of columns, one, two, three, four, rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You need to know how many, and then so that later on. But if you want, you can also add this, okay, while you are on doing the table. So I'm going to insert a new slide, title and content. The student population. Okay, I'm going to add a table nine and uh, no, four rows are uh, four columns and then nine rows okay four nine press okay then i have it here so now i can start to type everything let me center align this or yeah the rest yeah, I think I need to center align the numbers here. I don't need. So I'm going to highlight and then center align. I'm going to type a J. 75, 120, BSM eighty six one seven seven two three one. Oops. Logistic is the next log one fifty two three 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 two three one fifty two three 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 two three ME. Mechanical engineer, engineering. EE is environmental engineering. One one nine. EE two six six. Two six zero three one eight. And last is the urban you UPAD, urban planning and architectural design. One seven two four six two eight two. Okay, so we have the table student population. Next one is the chart. The chart is related to that table. Okay. Now, there is a chart title here. Uh, it's a mistake. I have to delete this later on. Okay. Um, going to remove that so that we will have a clear exercise. Um, let me open my PowerPoint. Yeah. I have to delete that. It should not be there. Okay. 
Okay, and then let me open again the exercise. Okay, now that uh, title, chart title is not there anymore. So we're going to apply or we're going to do this. So again, another title and content. So student population chart. Insert a chart before it was a table. Now, this is why I told you they are related because the data will come from here. So what you're going to do from the table, you copy, okay, you highlight the content. You copy the content, sorry. And when you go there and click insert chart, so I'm going to use a column and I'm going to use 3D cluster chart. So column 3D cluster chart. Ah, sorry, 3D clustered column chart and you press OK. So this is what you're going to see. When you press OK, a, an Excel, okay, an Excel spreadsheet will appear because as I told you, the data of your chart will come from Excel. Okay, I mean, but as I said also, this chart is that student population table also. So all you have to do is to copy that table, the content of that table and go to A1. Once you copy that, to right click, there are two paste options. You're going to select match destination format, okay, or formatting. Now, when you click this, you can see that it's already there. So all your major, then the year, and then the numbers are here. So that's what it will do, okay? So you can see that these are very important. The lines, the color, the blocks that you are uh, seeing, it's very important. Now just close this and this is your chart. Okay, I told you click remove this chart title and you're here. Okay, so this is your uh, cluster, 3D clustered column chart. Okay, with all the data that came from here. Okay, so we are almost finished. We're going to go to slide number seven. So this is not related to uh, geotech anymore. It's just a picture. It's just the PowerPoint that I want you to. Uh, it's a uh, part of this PowerPoint exercise. Insert any image available apply soft edge rectangle style on the picture. So I want you to again click a new slide or set a new slide and do this. The picture, any picture right now will do. So I'm just trying to find if I have a picture. Yeah, this is my picture. Close this and as apply a soft edge rectangle style. So in the format tab, okay, picture styles, you find the soft edge rectangle. Okay, apply it there and that's it. Okay, that's the picture. Okay, lastly, additional instructions. Again, you will not have to type this. You have to apply or uh, do all these instructions. First is apply a fade slide transition effect and apply it to, to all slides. So this is a transition, a transition from one slide to another slide. That effect is called transition. So we go to the first slide first. So it will be more organized and go to transitions tab and click fade. That's what the instruction is. This is how it will look like. Okay, you can see the free view is here. Now I'm going to apply to all. Before apply to all, you can see the star here. That means we have an animation for this slide and that animation is transition wherein when you go to this slide to another slide, that effect will happen. Now, if I click apply to all, and you can see also that the, uh, uh, for you to go to the other slide, you have to click the mouse or press down arrow key or n okay so this is what is it all about you can see also the star after applying to all 
So that means your transition is can be seen there. So if we preview this, oops, sorry. I'm going to try to use a slideshow. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that ends my slideshow. <laughs> no, I'm just showing it to you. Okay, the next instruction is add a float in animation to all the contents of the presentation from slide two to slide six. So we start with slide two until slide six only. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then we apply animation. Float in. So we go to slide two. Only the content. This is title. This is content. So here we click this. Okay, we click on the whole placeholder and not only the content. Okay, so please make sure of that. Before you apply the animations, tab and then float in. Okay, you can see that it goes only once. Okay, one time. We go to slide number three. There's no shortcut about this animation. You have to do it one by one in each content. So this is a two content layout. So therefore you're going to do it here first and then here. All right, if you want, go first for the picture and then here. Okay, so I'm going to click the whole box just to make sure and I'm going to apply float in. Okay, right now you can see one by one is coming out. Okay, so again, this is by click. So when you click one, then two, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's numbered. Okay, now what we want, as we said, is that the effect should be one time only. So when we click effect options, you are in the animation, you click as one object. Okay, you can see there the preview. It's just now one time plugged in. So you can see the number one. So the sequence will this first. Okay, without doing anything only, he will have that effect or that animation so, but if you select the picture and then add again another float in okay she will be number two if you want you can reorder this move earlier so as i said this will be one and then this will be two okay they cannot have the same the same number one will happen if you made them both number one Okay, so I mean they will go same time. Okay, also this is on click. You can change this by maybe after preview, say automatically. Uh, sorry, what word was that? Uh, and then there's a duration on how long will it go like this? Will it move as animate? And the delay is how long will it take? Okay, to the next. Uh, to the next uh, animation or no, no, not slide, but next animation. Okay, so but right now, since you are on click, that means the delay will be zero. So that means he is waiting for you to click the mouse. Okay, next. Again, we'll just do the same procedure. Click on the box, float in. It's one by one. So I'm going to click effect options as one object. Number one will be here. Click on the next object, float in. He will be number two. Slide number five. This is the table, float in, done. Slide number six. This is a table, float in, done. So only those slide two until slide six. Now we have the last four using the outline tab, insert a new slide with a blank layout. Change the layout to title and content. On the placeholder, insert a visual image from your library folder. Delete the last slide using the outline type. Save your files. Okay, so all these instructions are not related anymore to your 
final uh, PowerPoint that you will submit to me because these are additional instructions for you to be familiar that maybe this kind of uh, questions will come out of the exam. Maybe only, uh, we do not know yet what are your questions in the exam, but since me as an experienced one, I already saw those exams. Okay, so some of these are related to this, so maybe it will be given to you on the exam and maybe you can use that uh, knowledge. Okay? okay, using the outline tab, insert a new slide with the blank layout. So using an outline, outline tab. So on the view, you click on the outline view. Okay, so this is the outline tab that we're talking about. And we insert a new slide. So it says here, change the layout. No, no, no. Insert a new slide with a blank layout. So I'm going to click new and then blank layout. Okay. Now on the blank layout, he said here next is to change the layout to title and content. So how do you change that? Layout, title and content. We just need to change the layout. That's how you're going to do it. So maybe an instruction on the exam will be change the layout of this slide to title and content. So that's it. That's just a maybe. Now we can insert an image. Insert. Okay, or go here. Pictures. Let's use this. Okay. Or now, last the last slide using the outline tag. How do you delete again? This is the one you inserted. So, right click on this and then delete slide. Okay, now that's how you do those tasks. So, I'm going to view tab and normal. This is the last slide. I think this finished. Uh, this finishes our exercise for PowerPoint. Okay, so this one. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. You save this to um, you save this to the file name format that I I will give on your Moodle. So do not forget, I always need you to follow the file name format and. Um, so hope you have a good holiday and have a nice day to all of you. Keep safe. Always remember that. Uh, wear your mask, uh, wash your hands, and always keep distance. Okay? Give space. Okay, with that, thank you very much uh, for listening or for watching. And ciao.